with schools going online, parents need to go offline. We need to help our children climb the mountain of school. allow opportunities for children to support each other like uh, elder children can support younger children and everyone achieves more And what is the problem? The gate was lost. So that was the problem. So then what was the solution? What did we do? How we get with schools going online, parents need to go offline. We need to help our children climb the mountain of success. You want the children learn through challenges. Children learn through navigating complexity. What does complexity and challenge mean? You want to make sure that a challenge is always one level. It's like C plus one. You want to create challenging environments for your children so that they overcome those challenges and they succeed. This is like climbing the mountain of knowledge. We want to see them achieve the summit now that schools are shut and everything is online you as a parent have the opportunity to get all kinds of children you know uh, different age groups of children together that really builds social communication that builds uh, understanding and that builds interpersonal relationship allow opportunities for children to support each other like uh, elder children can support younger children and everyone achieves more. As teachers, as educators, our job is to always be thinking, right? And how do you think? What is the best way to think? The best way to think is to ask questions. How do you ask questions? What questions do you ask? You know, questions direct thought. So the best way for you to start asking questions is to start observing. How are children actually studying? What are they doing online? What are the tools that they're using? Do they look bored? Are they, are they, are they active participants or just passive learners? This is a problem. And I think I may have an idea for you. There is a solution. If you're a teacher, if you're an educator, if you're going to be teaching online, I'm sure most of you are, you have the opportunity to make your sessions interactive. You have the opportunity to allow children to go out and do things on their own. 
you don't have to depend upon software and expensive uh, you know online courses and expensive those kind of things right you can create it yourself i found this amazing tool i'm going to show it to you right now in the next 2 minutes i'm going to get you to start working on creating interactive material and content for free on the internet look at my screen now all right now i'm going to show you this amazing small little tool that you can use to make things really interactive take my take a look at my screen right now so it's essentially this tool called theme link if you are a teacher and if you are working online you can take any image and make that into multi media interactive content and let me show you how to do that right away you can see my screen now and all you need to do is you need to go to this website called thing link let me see if i can just show it to you straight away go to thinglink.com right you go to thing link t h i n g l i n k dot com once you go to thing link hit create when you hit create you can hit upload so let's say we want to talk about walnuts if you want to talk about walnuts if you want to teach walnuts to children have an image ready so the minute you you select your image you will see that your image will pop up on screen right away now this is a walnut now if i want to teach children about walnuts there are so many things as a teacher i can do go to an add tag and say contents if you want to teach children a little bit about walnut right what are walnuts okay here you go what and we enter text walnuts okay we've added there for a description you can just go to wikipedia and you can ask uh, you know ask wikipedia to give you some information about walnuts and i got some information here so maybe this information is good for a child so i can copy it from from here go to my description add it into my description so now i got information of walnut and in case children need more information i can take the wikipedia link select that go back and put it as a button url and button text could be click here to learn more okay and i can change my icon because this is more like a text thing right so i might put a icon that says that looks like an a and i hit done boom you're able to now immediately see that i have uh you know i have created a tag here you click this tag and it will tell a child what is a walnut and if he clicks this button here it will take him directly to um to wikipedia the beautiful aspect of this is if you click this button here automatically the accessible feature allows you the accessibility feature allows a walnut is the nut of any tree of the genus juglans family okay. juglandaceae particularly the this is so helpful for children who you know find it difficult to read or come across new words i think this is brilliant what if you want to add more things let's say i want to show what walnut trees look like okay walnut trees so go to description and say here are what walnut trees look like okay and i could go to image and i've already downloaded a couple of images of walnut trees as you can see you just go to google images download walnut trees boom you have this information here you change this you make it look like an image so that children understand ah this is an image you click done and there right my tag is here for what a walnut tree looks like what if i want to show this area right so okay let me see what this There you go, right? You can see what walnut trees look like. So children can see that. Now, what if you want to show a video like how to let's say how to open a walnut? How cool is that, huh? I always wondered. And look for add content from website. Can you see add content from website? And here you can see embed code, embed code. So what do you do is you go to YouTube look for a video that says how to open a walnut right and look for a video that you think is the best video for your children okay there's a nice video four different ways 
you can open a wall now. So you right click on that and you hit copy embed code. Now go to your thing link and under your embed code or URL, put in the embed code. Change the icon to make it look like a video. Okay? So that children will know immediately that this is a video. And now you can put this video here. You see? There you go. Now you know what a thing link is. This is going to allow you to create beautiful, interactive, engaging content. You can create homework in this fashion. If your principal is not aware of it, go out and tell your principal and talk to your other teachers. Your children will love using this. You know, you don't need to use expensive software to create all kinds of animations and triggers and things like that. Just take an image or take a video, add your little uh, tags to it, create gateways to knowledge, create knowledge corridors, create cross curricular links. As a trainer, as a teacher, as an educator, use Thing Link. I challenge you, go today. I invite you also, go today to Thing Link and try and make your first Thing Link. Bye bye. <laughs>
okay so i uh, i would like to start my session so before starting my session i just want to ask i want to ask you a question to everyone this question is for everyone so uh, before attending your lectures online lectures do you all eat something and then attend it or without eating do you all attend just say, uh, comment in the chat box okay so i got reply from many people they eat and they attend so it's really very nice to hear that so let's start my uh, let's start my session so my topic is breakfast it's really very important to have your breakfast okay so my breakfast next khati okay so what is a breakfast breakfast is the best thing that you have after after a long time like after a 8 hours of sleep you have your first meal that is known as breakfast the breakfast itself describe it in its own that break the fast that is breaking the fast after having a 8 hours of sleep next khati okay so what does balance diet mean so if you have a plate so your plate should contain the fruits and vegetable the most important one then cereals and pulses if you eat, if you are a non vegetarian so you should have a meat like egg fish or chicken or whatever you are like then have have cereal and pulses next khati so firstly what your uh, balance diet uh, should contain so there are two five food group that the first one is a whole grain second one is the cereal and pulses third is the milk and milk product that is a protein source instead of milk and milk product you can have non vegetarian sources like egg fish chicken whatever you like then fruits and vegetable very important healthy fats and oil now fats and oil there are many misconceptions that we should not con consume fat but it's not like that you should have fat but you should have a good quality fat so we'll discuss today in the session what are the good qualities of fat or healthy food that you all should consume khati next okay so what is the whole grain first whole grains are those uh, foods which are usually not undergone some process like your maida and everything is refined food so it's not good so better instead of having maida you all should consume the whole wheat flour which have bran in it bran is very important for you all it contains the fiber and the fiber plays a very important role it provides you energy and uh, the energy uh, release in your body is slow so it lasts for the longer time you uh, you will feel full for the long time the satiety level will reach uh, faster you will eat less so the one who suffers from uh, the one who says that uh, they are suffering from uh, they are having wa heavy weights so for them it's very important to consume whole grains because whole grains will help you to consume less along with that you will get all the nutrients in it and you will 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 fu uh, feel full full for the whole day next next okay so what are the benefits of consuming fruits and vegetables so firstly we all know that fruits and vegetables are very juicy so it provide almost 7 uh, almost 75% uh, of it with water so it helps to keep us hydrated second one it's con it has uh, lots of minerals like magnesium calcium potassium selenium all these minerals are very important for your body to function normally the third one is good source of phytonutrients what are the phytonutrients so phytonutrients are very important nutrients these nutrients help uh, for your good hair for good skin for good memory and for your uh, immune system so if you want to stay strong you have to consume fruits and vegetables for that i know people don't like consuming fruits and vegetables because uh, it don't taste good uh, so so do i i don't like consuming but from the time i started uh, 
from the time i started consuming fruits and vegetables i started enjoying having my meal so if you don't like to eat directly your fruits and vegetable try to incorporate in your meal in a different way like you can uh, have a uh, palak puri in your paratha ask your mama to add palak puri in your dough so you you can have a green color paratha so if you don't like to eat so try to include in a different way ask your mama to do that so so it will help you in a different way and then uh, it's really very important for your eyesight since i didn't consume the fruits and vegetables in my childhood i have a speck i definitely know it's very difficult to carry the specs and it uh, it doesn't look good on every clothing that every attire that you wear so you don't always want to wear the specs so if you don't want specs it's very important to have your fruits and vegetables especially colorful like have green color you all i know you all don't like to have green leafy vegetables like palak methi it don't taste good but it's important to have have it in a different way then it antioxidant antioxidant since you all know in the corona time antioxidant is playing a very important role antioxidant helps to make your immune system strong this girls can look pretty uh, they can be glow on their skin with the help of antioxidant so antioxidant antioxidant is present in your fruits and vegetables so i i request everyone to have this fruits and vegetables in your life we belong to the land of farmers and we produce large amount of fruits and vegetable but sadly we don't consume it so it's important so respect your farmers uh, listen to your mom and dad what they say consume fruits and vegetables khyati next so how can you uh, like how can you complete your or uh, how can you have a balanced diet firstly have a cereals all pulses very important cereals like rice or you can have a wheat flour you can have oats if you like to have oats then secondly is a pulses pulses for the vegetarian souls it's really very important to have pulses like dal different types of dals your legumes so like chana you can have your moong dal everything you all need to have include this then the third one is the uh, protein source from the uh, non vegetarian source so it's like egg you can have it from egg mostly the good quality proteins come from the uh, animal sources so for vegetarian it's milk so you can have milk paneer cheese please i i would uh, like to request every vegetarian source to at least have one glass of milk and one bowl of curd daily if you if you if you do that so now you will stay healthy it will really help you all a lot then next one is the fruits and vegetable i already discussed with you all you all need to include fruits and vegetables then what is good fat so good fat is like uh, you don't have to consume lots of trans fat what is trans fat trans fat is really not good and what is saturated fat saturated fat mostly comes from the bakery products so if you consume uh, consume fruits from outside so it contain lots of saturated fat it's really not good for your health try to include your mustard oil or soya bean oil or maybe sunflower oil very commonly used groundnut oil include all those oil uh, also include ghee ghee is also very good but include in a limited amount then uh, i said to consume curd curd is a good source of probiotics so it has a good bacteria it helps to uh, helps to maintain your gut like your gut health it's helps to maintain with health so it helps to fight in the bad bacteria if in case uh, you eat something wrong so it can uh, it had bad bacteria so it will fight with that bad bacteria so good bacteria it's very important to have and you mostly get it from the curd so it contains probiotics it's really very important to have it and the teenagers nowadays the problem of a teenager they don't consume food they want they want to like uh, look slim and trim so it's very important that you need to consume healthy foods if you do that so you will automatically will look good and beautiful and you also will be slim and trim so it's important to uh, search over it like what you all should eat uh, how you can include different sources there are total five food group that is cereal pulses then milks uh, protein sources from milk and animal sources then fruits and vegetable and your fat so it's at least in your breakfast try to include three food groups like you can have cereal pulses uh, 
along with that milk so you can have like chapati or curd or sabzi along so there are total three food groups so next kathy next okay so what are the main four that we have the first one is the breakfast second one is the lunch third one is a snack and the fourth one is a dinner and we are going to discuss about what is breakfast kathy next okay so we know the breakfast is the most important meal of the day why we are say, uh, saying that breakfast is the most important meal of the day so we are going to discuss about it kathy next okay so what does breakfast mean so let's break the word break means breaking something or putting end to something fast means fast that is upwas we say in hindi so breaking the fast after dinner we go for a sleep for like 7 to 8 hours so after the moment we wake up it's important to have something to break that fast so the first meal that you have is known as breakfast so we are breaking the fast why it is important to break the fast firstly after sleeping we are totally discharged we don't have energy in the morning so we need to perform our daily activity for that it's very important to have your meal so the first one is a breakfast the way car needs and fuel to run on a road the same way you need your breakfast to run the whole day the body need body needs energy work perform different activity your musty your studies and everything if you want to do every activity with full enthusiasm and full energetic way may then you it's very important to have your first meal breakfast next okay so what is the benefit of having a breakfast firstly since you will feel tired once you wake up so it will provide you energy and it will make you feel very energetic second one it will uh, provide the energy to perform the whole day ka activity so if you want to perform your whole day ka activity very nicely properly want to do musty want to study want to concentrate on your studies so it's important to have it then uh, it's good for your body uh, because your body needs uh, performing the whole day ka activity so it's require energy so you get your whole nutrients everything from it it's good for your healthy weight you want to maintain your weight uh, many people uh, don't like like they are have they have heavy weights or low under weight so it's important to maintain your weight also if someone is a uh, high weight or so they need to decrease their weight so if you have a healthy breakfast you can do that so if someone is under weight they want to increase their weight and maintain so it's important to have your breakfast next okay so you have your breakfast but how you will know that it's an complete or incomplete breakfast so let me help you out with that incomplete like you have only milk or maybe only nuts or only roti or uh, bhaji so it's important to make your food complete so how you will do so since we learn that five food groups that is cereal pulses then protein source from egg and milk products and other meat sources and fruits and vegetables and fats so at least include three fruits and veg uh, three uh, uh, food groups like you can have cereal pulses along with that milk or maybe you can cereal pulses or vegetables or so i can i'm going to give you some suggestion like what kind of breakfast you all have next so first one is that you can have your roti sabzi along with curd so we can see there is cereals there is vegetable and there is milk so there there is total three sources then you can also have a vegetable roll like uh, chapati may you can add your vegetable along with that you can have your milk if you don't like the simple uh, plain milk ka taste so you can add sugar maybe or maybe you can add nuts along with that you can have uh, chocolate syrup so it will taste good next khate okay you can also have your vegetable upma uttapam so uh, we uh, usually have uh, dosa so with that same batter you can add some vegetables and you can add nuts or till uh, or ground nut if you like so you can have a balanced way then uh, also you can have dhokla dhokla contains rava then your curd in it then you as vegetable you can also add vegetables along with chutney you can have it so again it's in balanced diet kathy next 
ओके सो नेक्स्ट अगेन कमन डोक लाइफ पीपल लाइक हैविंग कमन डोकला स्पेशली फॉर जो पीपल दे लाइक हैविंग कमन डोकला सो दे कैन हैव दैट देन हैव दिस उत्तपम और इडली और व्हाट एवर यू लाइक लाइक डोसा सो ट्राई टू ऐड योर वेजिटेबल्स वेर एवर इट इज पॉसिबल बिकॉज इट्स रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू एड योर एड योर वेजिटेबल्स आई एम रिपीटिंग अगेन एंड अगेन it's really very important to have your vegetables because vegetables contain all the important micronutrients that does not requ- the micronutrient requirement is not in a large quantity it's in a small quantity but it plays a very important role if you don't have it you won't be able to perform your activity perfectly or properly so there is something called as hidden hunger what does hidden hunger mean like you are having your meal properly but you are not able to meet your requirements the micronutrients ka requirement so that is known as hidden hunger like your body requires that micronutrients but you are not able to have that require you are not able to have that micronutrients so it leads to the hidden hunger the hunger that cannot be seen but your body needs good nutrients to perform your daily activity next okay so you can even have your upmas with vegetables you can have poha and always remember to gar- garnish your food with lemon lemon is very good uh, it has antioxidant it's good for your iron absorption nowadays teenagers are suffering from anemia or iron defi- deficiency so vitamin c it contains vitamin c so it helps for your iron absorption and it's really very good to have your vitamin c ka source we are know nowadays in covid scenario people are suggesting to have a vitamin c so it's important that to have your lemon vitamin c best sources are your lemon and then you can have your guava and different other uh, fruits that has vitamin c and try to uh, garnish your uh, food with lemon uh, the time when you uh, start to have your meal don't uh, garnish it before half an hour or something uh, you garnish at the moment when you want to have your meal next kathi so vitamin c okay vitamin c is an antioxidant again uh, it uh, antioxidant plays an important role in an immune system so what is the scientific evidence for what is the good impact of breakfast on your firstly if you are very weak in your studies you are not able to concentrate you are feeling dizzy sleep and uh, what your teacher is saying you are not understanding so if you have your breakfast it will improve your concentration you will be able to attend your lectures properly and you will understand what your teacher is then second from this uh, that they are weak in so it will somewhere it will improve that then uh, the third one if you do all this you can say it well you study well uh, you you are easily able to solve your problems so you will be in the books of your teacher so if you want to score a good marks you want to be in the good books of your teachers so it's in, it's really very important to have your breakfast and breakfast will definitely help you with all these things kathi next okay so as i explain uh, out to Uh, of five very important to at least have three food groups so for example you can have oats along with that you can add fruits in it milk in it along with have meal so it's really very important to have it's not important that you have a fancy meal but whatever your mamma cooks like your mama daily cooks uh, suppose she cooks chapati and bhaji so have chapati and bhaji along with that ask your mama to give you curd or maybe milk if you like so you can balance your food and it's very important try to have at least one fruit like you can have orange or maybe mosambi or you can have amla you have all these sources these are good sources of vitamin c and it also contains all the micronutrients which are important for your immunity so it will help to build your immunity if you build your immunity it will be well you have a balanced diet next
okay so i want you to take age that every day you will have your whole grains rich breakfast every day then include fruits and vegetables i know you don't like but try to include slowly slowly you will start liking your fruits and vegetables secondary encourage others to do that so if your peer mates your classmate don't like to encourage them to have your meal encourage them to have a healthy breakfast it's really very important to have your healthy breakfast next thank you so much for listening and uh, please try whatever i said is include it secondly please don't follow your google google baba always does not provide you with full information so always have a full information because i know how information can lead at a wrong place so try to include in whatever i said if you want to ask me something you all can ask and please have your breakfast daily along with that have your lunch dinner and snack daily before going to bed try to have at least one nut or maybe if you, it's po possible for you all to have a milk then please have a milk it will uh, help you to get a good sleep and uh, definitely it will help in uh, your body to perform uh, bet in a better way you will uh, if you want to score good marks it's important to have it it's important to have everything in your diet and uh, secondly don't fall for your figure like what the way you look you look good uh, try to eat everything uh, if you still want to go for a weight loss so go in a good way don't go on a salad diet like whatever uh, this social media is uh, making you aware about this salad diet and stuff don't go for it eat everything eat in a proper amount and try to include whole grains instead of refined food definitely whole grains in fibers in it so it's important that you have a fiber in your meal thank you so much ma'am thank you shweta that was indeed an informative session and i'm sure our swiss learners are enlightened already they would have been following this because it is the lockdown and everybody is at home and we have they have no options of eating from out so uh, thank you for the informative session and a uh, lot of knowledge to the swiss learners i'm sure they would have got from the session so students this is something that is the real facts that shweta has given us okay whatever we go by whether that is a facebook or the google it is we may not know the validity of the facts but here we have a student who is you know studying the subject and she has a deeper knowledge so thank you shweta and team for uh, giving us this opportunity to have the session with our students as well that you have come forward and it is our indeed our uh, pleasure for us to have you back with the same bully broad team so shweta if you would like to say something about your experience in swiss uh yes ma'am of course i would like to say so uh, i was a ex student uh, and i was uh, in the batch of 2015 it was my 10th standard the last year and definitely i had great fun especially uh, the extra curriculum activity we used to have a trek every year we used to have a picnic and there was uh, different innovative ideas that was put by willy sir uh, they he used to always uh, bring with good innovative ideas to just in a different way so we had learned a lot of in a different innovative ways and we were exposed to many opportunities to speak in front of people so we can work on our work on our personality and then uh, i still remember that uh, baking activity i still remember it was really fun baking cake first time we baked the cake in the class, uh, in the school and it was really fun we went to bakery and we baked and we made our own cake And so it was really fun like it was uh, awesome to uh, be the part of swiss and it was really awesome like uh, i would like to thank every teacher deepa ma'am uh, kanchan miss usha miss suman miss every teacher who taught us who taught us everything that was important for our future and uh, whatever we have learned from our school it's really helping us in the future so please to, uh, guys like i request you all to uh, learn whatever they are teaching you and every uh, innovative ideas uh, the sir putting uh, for in front of you have to participate in it it will really help you in the future it will have, it will work on your personality it, it will help to build your positive personality and i really miss my school for sure <laughs> Yes, thank you, Shweta. Yes, uh, we can see the confidence that you have and the way you have delivered the session. Yes, uh, we are doing a lot of innovative things, Billy sir. I request you if you could.
Yes, uh, so once again, Shweta, uh, thank you for the wonderful session, informative session. And my dear Swiss champions, I hope that now you are enlightened with the session and you'll go back and make sure that you eat healthy, stay healthy, and also you have to make sure that you are eating whatever is cooked by your mother. Okay, and it's a lot of effort that she's putting in and keeping in mind your health. And at this time especially, keep exercising. It's not uh, you know uh, enough that you eat healthy. It's also uh, necessary that you stay fit. So you need to exercise also at the same time. Even if you're inside your home, it doesn't matter. If there is a will, there is a way you can do it. Okay, over to really, sir, sir, if you would like to say something here. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, uh, first check if you can hear my voice. If you can hear my voice, just nod. So I know. Okay, brilliant. Thank you, Shweta. It was really nice. Uh, some of the videos for the cake project are actually on our YouTube. So you should go and you should see, uh, uh, you know, all the other students as well. I'd like to share that, you know, uh, uh, go and check out the cake projects. Uh, it is so nice for us to hear when our ex-students come back and tell us that all those crazy ideas and all those innovative ideas that we put through for students, uh, when they do it, it has made a big impact and difference to their lives, right? So that is why Swiss champions and that is why teaching champions at, at school do what they do. They try doing things which are new, innovative, so that it makes a difference on children. And that difference is what we want in this world and through our children. So there are a few questions, Shweta, that has come up. I just wanted to quickly check. Someone asked a question like, what about buttermilk? Is buttermilk good? Do you have anything to share about that? Yes, buttermilk is very good for those who want to go for a weight loss, especially like you can fill your stomach with that buttermilk. So you will eat less and you can go for a weight loss. So it's a good way to go for a weight loss in a positive way. Uh, another question that has come up is, uh, do we really want to be looking at weight loss uh, or should we be thinking about being more healthy? Is there any thoughts that you would like to share with our students? So, uh, actually, we can go for if people want to have a weight loss, like they desperately want to go for a weight loss. So there is a positive way, like there is a healthy way you can go for it. Like people nowadays, you can see they are just going for salad diet. They only eat vegetables, vegetables and fruits. So it's not good to have that way. You can go for a weight loss in a healthy way, like you can have the whole milk whole meal with all the food groups and you can go for a weight loss along with that so if you want to go for it go for it in a positive way there is a way to achieve it mm -hmm. and what would you recommend to our children in terms of uh, you know all these uh, because there's so much of ads that come up on tv and you know saying have protein and have this and have that and and uh, anything you want to share about health, self-image or whether, you know, especially growing girls and growing boys yeah. when they're becoming teenagers, uh, you know, they get into fat diets and then they start thinking that they are, they're not good looking or, you know, th there is body image problem, there is body shame problem. So is there anything you'd like to share about that, especially being a, being a woman yourself? And, you know, is there anything you'd like to tell our students? Yes, sir. so firstly, uh, the teenager people, firstly, the energy requirement and the nutrient requirement is very high in this period because the bro uh, body is go growing under drastic changes. So it's important to have your full meal. It's uh, th At that time, it's not really very important to have your body shape ka thing in your mind. If you still have it, please uh, consult, a, consult a proper person about it. Just don't go on, uh, blindly go on a fat diet. It's it's not good. And accept your way, accept the way you are. Appreciate always, like appreciate yourself always. Doesn't matter you look fat or you look thin. It's important how you care for yourself. It's important to care for yourself. That is the first priority you should have in your mind always. Take care of Take care of yourself. Eat everything, whatever you get. And exercise daily. If you do so, you will always be in a good shape. So it's important to take care of yourself firstly. If you do that so, you will start loving yourself. Doesn't matter how you look, how is your skin color, how fat or how thin you are. It doesn't matter that things are secondary or tertiary. That should come in your mind at the last. First thing that should come in your mind is to take care of yourself and love yourself. Keep that thing always in your mind and keep it as of your first priority in your life. That Then only you can be a successful person in your life. Accept the way you are. Love yourself. That's it. 
and always think... try to meet all your requirements from your food don't try to take any supplement from outside it's it's a request like try to have everything from your meal your mama knows you very well so she whatever she cooks she cooks good she cooks for you she cooks with a love so have that and stay healthy with that i think shweta that is such a powerful statement you made you you are asking our students and you're asking all your ex student you know all the students who are let's say your juniors you're asking all of them to love themselves first uh, to not be concerned about you know their body or what they look like right now and to be more careful about who they are internally would you like you would you want to talk a little bit about what it means to be beautiful inside and what it means to take care of your own self and treating your body like a gift from god and this is your temple and how do you respect your body would you like to speak a little bit about that first and then uh, maybe go oh. into something else okay so firstly what does that mean to love yourself the way you are you perfect everyone is different so if you see your finger all your fingers equal everyone has a flaw except your flaw and that doesn't mean if you have a flaw you're not a perfect no one is perfect perfect is something that is ideal you always have to compete with yourself you don't have to compare compare yourself with others so always try to be your own uh, uh, like i can say be your, be your own competitor help compete compete with your own self like if you have a goal like i am fat i doesn't look good so try to uh, uh, try to have your like i can say if you're not looking good or you can say your skin look dull so try to have a good meal try to have a exercise so automatically if you do that if you have yoga and everything so there will be glow on your skin and love yourself the way you are and uh, has sir said uh, you are beautiful please love yourself don't compare yourself with anyone you are perfect in your own way and you don't need to be compare yourself with anyone that is absolutely brilliant thank you so much uh, shweta and your entire team because uh, you know you've you've come on a sunday i mean you've come on a holiday and uh you've done some really really good work uh, for our children um uh, we want to invite you back to come back again and you know have more sessions like these with children uh we have a strong focus to ensure that the boys and the girls of our school both of them become equally strong and equally powerful and you know they become an influence they become a very good influence in the lives of everybody else so we are so proud of you and everything that you're doing shweta uh remember life is not about contribution life is about uh, sorry life is not about <laughs> collection or accumulation but life is about contribution right. so the way you are contributing right now to the lives of all our children i think you know you are going to be somebody who is going to be very very respected and very influential and very powerful thank you so much thank you everybody thank see you have a good time thank you so much sir bye bye and i think today is eid so happy so eid everybody sir. Thank you so much, sir, for providing so this, this opportunity to speak in front.